In the previous video, we changed a couple of important settings on the S25 Ultra and also set up the lock screen. Now, in this video, we're going to customize the home screen. I'm going to show you some super useful widgets, make a few more changes and make the home screen super functional and awesome. All right, so when you start using the phone for the very first time, this is how the home screen is going to look like. So the first thing we're going to do is head on into the home screen settings then tap on the home screen grid and we're going to change this from 4 into 6 to 5 into 6. This is going to shrink the size of the icons and allow you to fit 5 icons instead of 4 in the horizontal row of your home screen. Take a look, the smaller icons look a lot better. We will also change the grid setting for the app drawer. So head back into the home screen settings and tap on apps screen grid. We are going to change this to 5 into 6 and this allows you to fit more icons on a single page. I also recommend changing the way the apps are sorted in the app drawer by tapping here then sort and selecting alphabetical order. This is going to sort your apps alphabetically and also change the way you scroll through the apps so now it's vertical instead of horizontal. It's a personal choice but I kind of prefer the vertical scrolling and if you have a lot of apps, the alphabets on the right are going to make it very easy to look for a particular app. Now coming back to the home screen, this bottom row is called the favorites panel and the icons that you place here will always be there no matter what home screen you're on. So what you want to do is here you want to add the icons of apps that you use frequently like I'm going to bring the gallery icon down here and then also bring the dialer icon to the right so that it's easier to open the dialer with one hand. And obviously you want to customize this as per your requirements. So put the icons of apps that you use frequently down over here. Alright, now that we are done with the basic customization of the phone, let me show you some useful widgets that you might want to add to your home screen. But before that, you want to customize the number of home screens you want. So by default, there are two home screens. The one on the far left is your Google feed. If you don't like it, you can always switch off Google feed from over here. But I don't really mind keeping it here, so I'm going to leave it on. And this does not count as a home screen, so for now, we are going to ignore this. Now I prefer having three home screens because that's going to allow us to add a couple of useful widgets. So to customize, pinch in and then we will add another home screen over here. Then we're going to make the middle one our main home screen by tapping on the home button. There you go. The next thing you want to do is remove all of the icons and the widgets from the home screens so that you have three empty home screens to customize. So once all of the home screens are empty, let's start adding widgets. So pinch in and then tap on widgets. Now the first widget I would always recommend that you add is the dual calendar widget. And we're going to place this on the left most home screen. This is awesome because it shows you the current as well as the next month on a single page. Very useful if you're planning something in advance and you want to quickly glance at the next month. Now sometimes you will have to resize the widgets so that they fit properly. So there you go. Also, if you don't have the dark mode enabled, then this is how the widget is going to look like. If you want to change its color, long press the widget and head on into its setting. Here, change the background color setting to dark and also adjust the transparency. So this is how you can change the color of the widget. I think it looks better as translucent black. You can also make it completely transparent by switching off the background option. And this is a personal choice, so you want to adjust the transparency according to what's best for you. So let's go back to the calendar widgets and we will also add the list view for your upcoming events for the month. This is the one and we're going to add this. So this is going to show us all of our upcoming appointments and events for the entire month. Very useful. You can also add a countdown timer to a specific event in your calendar. Just add the countdown widget and select an event from the calendar. It's going to come in handy to remember birthdays and anniversaries. Just a little change, I'm going to make the upcoming event widget a bit smaller and we're going to bring the countdown timer widget over here. It's just going to save a bit of space. Now coming back, another widget that I absolutely recommend is the Samsung Health widget. 
you want to add the daily activity widget because this is going to show you how many steps you've taken and how many calories you've burned. You also might want to add the digital well-being widget. Now this is a dynamic widget so depending on its size it's going to show you your screen time and if you expand this it's going to show you the apps that you've been using. But I think the smallest size is the best just want to see my total screen on time and that's all. Now another widget that I find extremely useful is the voice recorder widget. This allows you to take voice notes with a single tap. See that? So absolutely no need to open the voice recorder. Now to cover up the remaining space, I would recommend adding this battery widget. And this is going to show you the battery level of your phone along with anything else that you've got connected. Like I've got my Galaxy watch paired with the phone. So it is also showing the battery level of the watch. Now on the main home screen, you can add a clock that shows you both the time and the weather. So to add this, what you want to do is go to the weather widgets and here add the weather and clock widget. Now instead of this, another thing that you can do is head on into the clock widgets and from here add the dual clock widget. This is kind of useful when you've got someone living in another country and you want to keep a track of the time in their region. As for the weather widget, in my opinion, the weather forecast widget is the best. And again, this is a dynamic widget. So resizing it will also change the amount of content it shows you. And again, we're going to make it transparent so that it looks good. I've also added the Samsung notes widget. And I think this is the single most useful widget on the entire phone because this lets you create a new note with a single tap. I find this widget extremely useful. You also might want to add the device care widget and this is very useful because it's going to show you how much storage and RAM is in use. Now if you feel like the home screen is getting too crowded, you can combine two widgets in a single one. It is very simple, just drag and drop the widgets on top of each other and you will see both of them will combine, giving us two widgets inside of a single one. Awesome! So this will allow you to save space and have more widgets on the home screen. I've also left some space at the bottom. So here you might want to add the icons of applications that you use frequently. So this way you'll have easy and direct access to these applications right here on the home screen. I have also brought the camera icon up here so that it's easier to launch the camera with one hand. Also, you might want to add the video recording shortcut here. So long press the camera icon and you will see three options. Drag and drop the record video down here. And this will give you direct access to the video recording mode so that you don't have to switch the camera mode from photo to video every time you want to record a video. And finally, on the third home screen, we have added the Gmail widget, which also doubles up as the music player widget. So once again, I've combined two widgets inside of a single one to save space. And if you're wondering, this is the Samsung music player widget, but you can have any music player widget that you like. Hey, if you're into online streaming, then you can have the Spotify widget combined with the normal music player. And lastly, I've also added the Google search widget. It's super useful because it takes us straight to Google search. Absolutely no need to open the web browser to look up something on Google. And continuing the trend from the main home screen, once again, here you want to add the icons of apps that you use frequently. You can even drag and drop the icons on top of each other to create a folder. Now, if you want to take the customization of the home screen to the next level and do things that are usually not possible, like fitting more than five icons in the favorites panel, you want to head on into the Galaxy Store and download the GoodLock app. So this is the one. Once you do, open it and look for the Home Up module. Now inside home up, you want to tap on home screen and here you're going to see the settings that are not available by default. So to fit more icons in the favorites panel, change the favorite max to six or seven, whatever you feel comfortable with. And same goes for the home screen grid. If you want to fit more icons horizontally, like I've done on this phone, then change this to six into six. This is going to allow you to fit more icons horizontally on the home screen as you can see. 
However, if you do decide to change the home screen grid, then you'll have to resize the widgets in order to make them fit properly. But it shouldn't be a problem. They actually look better and are more symmetrical in the 6 into 6 grid format as you can see. And finally, in the home screen settings of the home up module, you want to scroll down and enable the pop-up folder. This makes the folders open in a pop-up rather than taking up the entire screen. So yeah, tons of customization available. I think you are absolutely going to love the home up module. All right, so there you go. That's how you go about customizing the home screen of your Galaxy S25 Ultra and making it even more functional and awesome. And obviously you can customize this however you like, but I prefer having a functional home screen rather than being minimalistic. Okay, so we're gonna end the video here. If you've enjoyed the video and if it helped you customize your phone, make sure that you hit the like button and share the video with your family and friends. And make sure that you are subscribed because I've got more videos coming up for the S25 Ultra. Alright, so thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.